Hey everyone, Matt, the Power Sports Revealer Show. Thank you again for joining me. If you get a chance, please visit the website, powersportsmobilia.com, or you can follow me over there on Instagram at Powers Autographs. All right, so the topic came up uh, past week about, you know, if I do razzes. And if you guys don't know what razzes are, I'm going to get into them in just a second here. But we're going to talk about a couple different things. Okay, what is a razz? Why do people do razzes? And why not to do razzes? Okay, so. First off, let's talk about what a Raz is, okay? Let me start off this, this portion of the talk today by saying, hey, listen, I'm not a lawyer, okay? If you think about doing this and this is something you want to do, I would seek the advice of an attorney in your state, okay? But first off, a, a Raz, in my my opinion, is illegal. They're not they're not legal, but essentially what a Raz is is take, for example, you have a hundred dollar item that you want to sell. And rather than selling it at 100 hours outright to one buyer, you essentially are going to uh, sell spots for this item. So, for example, 10 spots at $10 to 10 different buyers, okay? And everybody gets a spot there, and everybody gets a number. So let's say you're number one, and everybody else gets their own number all the way up to number 10. And then those 10 numbers, or 10 names, are thrown into a randomizer five times, and they're randomized out. And the person who finishes at the top there of the fifth randomized is the winner, okay? That makes sense. So, essentially, you can buy multiple spots in some cases, but typically you're only buying for like a 10 spot there. You would buy one spot, okay? So, if you did win that item, you would win essentially a $100 item for $10, okay? You see this a lot in cards. For example, they'll do a big box break. And you'll pay X amount of dollars to get all the cards of one team, okay? And you'll be your names and your names will be put into a randomizer, and that'll randomize the team that you get, okay? So that's essentially how it works, okay? Essentially, you are gambling a uh, a spot there in hopes to win the big prize, okay? So the question pops up: Why do people do razzes, okay? Well, as a seller. Let's say you are having a hard time finding a buyer for an item. And you've got a, let's say an expensive item at 500 bucks, right? Having a hard time finding a buyer. And you want to razz it off because you think you can sell it a lot quicker that way, okay? So let's say, for example, you're going to do 50 spots at $10 each, okay? And it's a little bit easier for someone to, you know, stomach paying maybe $10 for a spot as opposed to trying to buy the item outright for $500. And for 10 bucks, people say, ah, I'll take a shot at, you know, potentially winning the item, the $500 item, okay? So as a buyer, you know, um, why would you want to do this? Well, people obviously, they want to get a good deal. Uh, they also like the thrill of winning. Does this remind you of gambling? <laughs> um, especially if you only pay $10 for an item, you know, you, you think you got a great deal and, uh, boy, you're, you're living the high life there and, wow, this is amazing. I won this $500 item for $10, okay? Well, here's the re here's where this leads into is why not to do razzes. And I've talked about the legalities of this thing. Uh, essentially, you are gambling. And if you know anything about Las Vegas <laughs> or gambling, the house almost always wins. Okay, In this instance, the house is the seller, right? So if you are going to you know, play 50 razzes in a year, let's say using our example here, and you're paying $10 a pop, you know, out of those 50 razzes, you know, how many are you going to win? Well, you know, the chances of you winning each one are 2%. So not great, okay? But let's say you do win one, okay? One of those 50 you win, and you're all playing them at $10 a pop. Essentially, you paid $500. And let's just say, for example, every single razz you played in had a $500 retail value on the item. You essentially paid $500 for a $500 item, you know? So you didn't win anything. So the chances of you actually coming out on top of these are very, very slim, hence why it's quote-unquote gambling, okay? So that would be my advice to not do razzes. I don't participate. I don't do any razzes. It's just way too much work for, for, for a little bit, of, little bit of sales there. It's just not worth it on my end. And I don't take part in them because I don't gamble anyway. And I know the numbers don't work out in my favor. So I don't do things that don't work out in my favor. So that hopefully gives you guys a good understanding of what a RAS is. You can make your own decision on whether or not you want to partake in those. 
If you guys got any questions and all that stuff, you know, let me know. But again, if you guys want to visit the website, check out what we have over there, powersportsmobilia.com. And also give me a follow over there on Instagram at Powers Autographs. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you on the next episode.